talking about. Get back and ready with time on the play clock. Here comes a blitz, a low snap. Nix comes up firing, incomplete. And get a lot, but Christian Fulton was a preseason highly thought of player, All-American mentions. If this ball would have been on target, I think Fulton would have picked it off. I agree. That is what got him this deep into LSU territory. Fake pitch. Nix comes up, rips it to the end zone, and he has a shot. Seth Williams, maybe they should have had Schwartz on the other side. Well, I tell you, they, they went after a man-to-man -man coverage to the outside with Christian Fulton on their best jump ball receiver. When we talked to Gus, he said... They did against Florida a couple of times. Nix, that's perfect. First down inside the 20. As Jamie said, what Bo Nix did at Florida, it may seem calmer to him today. He looks more settled. And the keep this time. Whoops, might be a free play. Nix to the corner. He just threw that one away, I think. To the left, that's two offensive linemen left. Nix fires late, incomplete. Knocked away Christian Fulton on the pass intended for Shedrick Jackson. Great discipline by this LSU secondary. Delpit's going to get outside and cover the wide man in motion. Takes away the throw to the outside. Nowhere for Knicks to go with the football. Has to dump it out of bounds. In the Auburn backfield, Knicks to throw all the way. Overshot his intended receiver. Had three chances on it. You got to get some points out of the big run. Going to the sideline. Good coverage that time by Christian Fulton. One, no timeouts running for Auburn. Knicks throws calmly over the middle of Schwartz. Schwartz trying to get the the bench for Auburn. I'm reminding my field goal team, be ready because we do. Judy coming around. Time to run again. Had to throw before he wanted to. Incomplete intended for Ruggs. Coming off the left side of the screen. Watch him come up and then pull off. Good play. The one ankle against the to start the second half. On the 35, second down and three. Talk about it plenty of time. Lost one and he throws it to the sideline. What coverage that time by Christian Fulton, number one, on the bottom of the screen. Now, uh, if you know what to expect, Paul, look at that. One on one, get him to the outside, play physical, stay in front of him. That is corner goes out of the game. Alabama counters by bringing in all four of their wide receivers. You go right back to where Christian Fulton, uh, uh, rather, uh, Kerry Vincent should be playing. That's where he would be playing, right there. That's Cordell Flott. Go down at 10. Tiger Valoa. Looks left, looks right, goes middle, got his man in stride at the third. And he finally came to the middle of the field. Watch, he wants to go to the left side. Stigley's got too good a coverage. He ends up coming all the way back to the square end. Team back. Remember that? Oh, Jeez. Play action. Tiger Valoa down the middle. Judy looking for a flag. He got one. Got one. What a battle. Fulton against Judy. Oh, boy. I don't know. He's an eligible receiver. This is a 10-yard penalty with an automatic first down. And they're trying to challenge, be aggressive and physical with these receivers. Jefferson to throw pressure off the edge. Jefferson throws it deep into traffic, and it's pulled in at the 10-yard line by true freshman Traylon Burks. Gain of 31. That was a great catch. A good job, too, by Jefferson. You see the upfield rush. Jefferson dips his shoulder, buys a little time. And get I mean, week two, I've tested their medal, and I think that's a big reason why LSU is as good as they are. Starko's pass, boy, almost picked next week. And then LSU wins the SEC championship. What a throw, by the way. Oh, my goodness, what a throw. So, I mean, we're talking about if LSU... Second half last week at Georgia, and they made a game of it against the Dodge, but whatever they found was lost. Right with Adrian Martinez. But, you know, again, that's part of the hit. 6'3", 217 pounds, but he's pretty fearless, too. They bring pressure. Adam after the 18-yard run. It's batted out of the air by Christian Fulton. Mon steps into the throw. Way too high. LSU. Pass interference on the defense. Number one. It's carried the offense. 
I do think the seven overtime game has a lot to do with the motivation level here tonight. There's the best throw of the night. By Talk about DeAndre Swift. I'm sure he'll be in there, but he's not going to take the first snap. And it's Fogg to throw, and he's going to go deep. Airs it out. Man's there, and he's in and out of the hands of when they're covering their guys. Jake got 14 on the scramble in the LSU territory. Oh. Back to the air, and he tried. All year, so in sync. Now, watch it. One more step, and the slip by Pickens. See him slip again? We've seen that throughout the game. Late blitz coming from that way to got to cook out in the flat. He's swift to be receivers out of the backfield because the shortage of wideouts. Yep. Yeah, the confidence that Kirby Smart has. From our first down, going to go deep. And Pickens trying to catch it. Couldn't quite hold it. Tried about three times to find the handle. That's what I mean. <laughs> LSU plays what LSU plays. That's their defense. Again, physical play all day. They've allowed the defensive backs to hand check. He got it right with this performance. Looked like there was some holding as Hertz dodged the rush, got it off, caught by C.D. Lamb. Highly recruited. He runs a pass pattern. Hertz can't find anybody open. Fires back in the end zone. Flag down. In Georgia. In the fourth quarter after Tua got injured, they were down a touchdown. He led them to two touchdowns and the win. Ball game. Hurts incomplete.